What's going on guys, get you one 2 3 0 here with episode 52 of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic was submitted by The Wolf Brigade Gaming, and they said, Gitchy, can you talk about future DLC of Grand Theft Auto? With the latest technology, do you think there will be new islands implemented, or maybe go to the airport and pay for a ticket and arrive in a completely new map? Thanks. And that was a top rated comment with 35 thumbs up, and it makes for a pretty interesting discussion topic, so that's gonna be the topic for today's video. So as we all know, Grand Theft Auto 4 did have some pretty solid DLC, you know, I really liked it, The Lost and the Damned was a pretty cool add-on, and it made some new features that we were then able to do, like just even random things like riding a motorcycle and being able to swing a bat next to you and hit people while you rode a mo motorcycle, um, additional weapons and just things like that, a new storyline and that's all cool. And then with the addition of the Ballad of Gay Tony, we saw even uh, more weapons, we got a tank, so that was awesome, and once again a new storyline. And then in Red Dead Redemption there was of course the zombie DLC. Now that was a really beloved DLC, a lot of people really got into that, and um, it was one of the highest rated DLCs for its time, you know? It was given a, uh, I think a 10 out of 10 by IGN or something like that, and uh, it just added countless hours of more fun in Red Dead Redemption. A new storyline, new things to do, and just a new way to spend time. However, one thing we've never seen in Grand Theft Auto DLC is the addition of a new map, or a new city, or just even a new zone that you can enter. Now, there are multiple reasons for that, and let me just list you a few. The biggest, most prominent reason that we've never gotten a new city, or a new island, or something that we can fly to for DLC, is the fact that the map design is one of the most time-consuming, monotonous things in the entire game's development. I remember hearing that in an interview with somebody at Rockstar, I don't know if that was Leslie Benzies or, uh, you know, one of the other producers, but they said that map design is one of the first things that they start with and that it is just very time consuming and uh, very meticulous, you know? You have so many minor details from the textures to all the graphics and uh, just so, so much to do, so that's probably the biggest reason. Having said all of that, uh, how do I want to say this? It's kind of like once you start making a new map for DLC, you're basically already developing the next game, you know? What if they said, okay, for Grand Theft Auto V, we want to make an entirely new island that you can fly to. If they started doing that, it's almost like starting a brand new game, and then at that point, they would just make that the new game, you know? Um, they're not, in my opinion, going to make a brand new map specifically for add-on DLC, because of basically what I said, you know? It's just that time-consuming and everything that by the time they go through all of that trouble, it might as well just be the start of a new map, because it's just too much to you know, just keep spitting them out there, and then start on the next map for the next Grand Theft Auto. So I really hope I'm making sense here in what I'm saying. Uh, listening to it back, I, I really hope that I articulated my point and got it across without sounding, you know, just too confusing or anything. But, um, you know, that's that's just my opinion. So I guess to summarize and give you my final answer, uh, I do not think that we'll be seeing a new map for DLC. Like I said, it's just too much work. Um, I think they can spend their time better in giving us a zombie DLC, a new storyline, and things like that. You know, they don't have to make a new map for the game to be good. The map's already spectacular as it is, and uh, really, I think that that would kind of be a waste of time for them, you know? I I'm not denying that it would be cool. It would definitely be cool. But I don't know. I, I just think it's too unlikely. However, I hope I'm wrong, you know? I hope they come out with 10 new islands that are huge and bigger than the current map, you know? I definitely wouldn't complain at all about that, but, uh, you know, in my mind, that's just not really gonna happen. However, we can definitely expect DLC. Um, I kind of feel like a zombie DLC might happen as well. They did it in Red Dead Redemption, and, you know, I don't think there's a single person who would complain if they did zombie DLC in Los Santos in G GTA 5, uh, you know, I think that would be very cool and we would all love it, so, um, you know, that's just, as always, it's just my opinion, I could be wrong, that's just how I feel about it, so with that guys, I wanna know what you think, as always, tell me in the comments below, uh, you know, give me some discussion on this topic, so many people only submit topics for future episodes, but, you know, the whole idea of this is also to discuss the topic that I just talked about, so, what do you guys think, will we see additional islands in DLC, you know, I could always be wrong, your opinion is just as good as mine, so I would love to know what you guys think, so with that guys, thank you for watching, watching this episode. Stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto 5 in the future, and uh, I'm gonna upload another vlog either tonight or tomorrow. Be sure to check that out, you know, give it a chance, see what you think, and uh, with that, guys, yeah, that's about it. I will talk to you later.